Very good. Okay. Hi, friends. Doc South here. Well, we're going to do another, uh, another uh, episode of uh, Aunt Barb's Magic Oven. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, let's see. I believe we got, I think we're, we're, yes, chapter 39. Gosh, let me write that in the book here. 39. And the, uh, yeah, the, we, again, probably not even halfway through yet. Yes, we got a lot of these to do. So let's get started. All right. One a day. One a day. Okay. And I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're enjoying. Uh, remember, if you're getting in in the middle, it is really wise to start the uh, stories. Go all the way back. You'll see if you go to my YouTube site, Doc South Show on YouTube. You go back all the way. You'll see there's number one, number two. They're all numbered consecutively. And you'll you'll enjoy the story more, my opinion. Uh, if you, um, if you do it that way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, um, eventually I guess I could almost, I guess there must be a way to rearrange them so that they're in order. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm not sure. Uh, again, you're looking a absolute cyber moron. Uh, it's lucky I know how to do this. <laughs> Just start my smartphone. I actually I have trouble starting it in the morning. Yeah. I, it, it doesn't make, I know, it's, it's, it's not my bag. I didn't come from, I can change a tire <laughs> with the best of them, but uh, boy, computers, oh, come on, you got to be kidding. All right. Yeah, well, okay, well, anyway, here we go. Uh, Aunt Barb's Magic Oven, the gloves come off, score one for Jim. Okay. Jim and Uncle Bill were about the same size. Maybe it was uh, Aunt Barb who said how, you know, there were a whole lot of clothes in the upstairs closet that Bill never wore. Uncle Bill remembered that there was uh, an old suitcase, too, up in the storage shed. Out in the storage shed, rather. And uh, we all we all put two and two together. And pretty soon, uh, while I was up in the spare bedroom helping Jim chain out, change out of his old clothes and into one of Uncle Bill's old flannel shirts and some denim jeans and and such. And uh, Ed and Uncle Bill were also up there with the two of us going through piles of this and looking, uh, well, this and that, looking for a good pair of shoes. Uh, we helped Jim get out of his old street clothes. Uh, like most men, uh, left to their own devices, his old clothes were a sight. Um, uh, I do have to de admit the truth though, and say that, uh, Jim's underwear looked a whole lot better than mine. My tidy whities were antiques. No, they really were. I, I believe I got them at a Confederate army surplus store. Uh, in, in the other life. Yeah. Uh, they, they were shot full of holes when I got them. Uh, Jim didn't really need, uh, and I didn't help uh, from there. Yeah. Jim didn't really need new, uh, underwear, but he certainly could use better gloves, socks, shoes. Uh, I asked Uncle Bill if I could have any, uh, leftover underpants if Aunt Barb, uh, was just going to pitch them. Uncle Bill thought a minute and said I, I could have them if I'd give them a good home. Uh, actually, thirty some years later, except for a hole or two, those 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 that underwear Uncle Bill gave me that day looked looked just fine. Uh, thank you, Uncle Bill. And whenever I pull them on in the morning, I I think of you. Uh, Ed was uh, rooting around in the attic crawl space overhead. Uh, he hollered down that he had found some socks and a nice pair of old hunting uh, hunting gloves in a trunk. He threw them through the ceiling hatch onto the bed, and the next thing we knew. A nice pair of hunting boots landed one on the uh, bed and the other on the floor. Everything looked like a nice match for Jim, too. They looked pretty warm. Uh, also, uh, I, I, I brought them over to Jim and suggested that he try them on. Jim thought they'd do nicely, and, uh, well, he hitched up his new warmer pants and sat down on the bed to uh, take, his, take off his gloves and socks. We were in for a shock, uh, the shock of our lives. We saw that both of Jim's hands, as well as both of his feet, each had what looked to be old bullet holes in them. Each hole on uh, each hole on each uh, hand or foot was right in the middle. They looked like uh, old wounds, very old wounds. Uncle Bill spoke first. He he scrunched up his forehead as his eyes dwelt on the old scars. All three of us uh, looking at them. It had to be just awful to get hurt like that. Bill had to say something. Uncle Bill, yeah, you, well, you know Uncle Bill. Uh, are those holes from a bullet? Did did you get shot there? Was it an accident to, or was someone out to get you? Uh, boy, that had a smart. Uh, wh what happened? Uh, I, I held Jim's foot and took a closer look. He didn't resist. I wondered out loud. 
These aren't uh, bullet holes, Uncle Bill. The the exit side of the wound would be more destroyed if that was the case. No, the, these are puncture wounds, but I can't imagine what, what from. How did these happen, Jim? Uh, whatever it was, uh, they had to hurt something awful. These these particular wound sites are very are full of very sensitive nerves. This had to be awful. Ed spoke and shook a bit. Uh, uh, you were tortured somehow. Who would hurt you? You're a nice guy. How could you make anyone mad enough to do this to you? Uh, all three of us were getting pretty shook, and then it hit us. All three of us said it at once. Are those nail holes? Jim shook his head yes. He laughed and smiled as he did so. His answer came easy as pie. Yes, they are. I'm Jesus. All of you have been so wonderful. You passed the test. <laughs> he says, let me, let me get those shoes on and we'll go talk to everyone outside. What do you say? Well, that's it. Uh, one of my favorite chapters in the book. Okay. Anyway, so let's, um, remember as I'm writing it, boy, I'm just crying like a baby. Oh, yeah. It was, it was hard to write. Uh, very emotional. But I, yeah, it looks like it came out okay. All right. Well, I'll see you later. Thank you now. And uh, bye-bye for now. God bless.